afternoon and welcome back from the BBC News. Liverpool teenagers paid money to stab other youths by Matthew Price and Leda Wright earlier today. Teenagers being offered up to £1,000 by gang leaders in Liverpool to stab other youngsters, the BBC has learned. And if we scroll down then we see the people are aged 10 to 17 years old. One in five of those convicted of course from age between 10 and 17 according to the Ministry of Justice. And with, with £1,000 it's one of those things where like having a thousand pounds isn't necessarily a great deal, but owing a thousand pounds is a lot, and <clears throat> especially if it's from a like, impoverished neighbourhood where money's hard to come by, and especially when you're that young that, like, as a ten year old, twenty pounds is still quite quite a large amount. And then being given a thousand pounds during your teenage years or ad adolescence is is a sizable chunk. So bounties are being paid by elders who want to avoid carrying out the attacks themselves. Young people have told the BBC Beyond Today podcast which means you're getting into organised crime and syndicates at this point. So if you don't nip it in the bud quickly, then the gangs grow, and that's how you end up with mafias and uh, them being in control of your society, or at least areas, and then uh, that's just run by the mafia, essentially, and you have gang wars. So more than 22,000 knife and weapon offences were recorded nationally in the past year. Their claims have been linked to at least one recent stabbing. Uh, it said gangs were known to exploit young and vulnerable people to sell drugs and even to use violence. And the teenagers who wish to remain anonymous because they fear reprisals said young kids are getting money put on their heads. His best friend was the target of a £1,000 bounty. A group attacked the victim who then needed <clears throat> treatment in hospital. Two teenagers then split the bounty. And he said people would go to watch straighteners, a fight to arrange to solve a dispute where people were getting stabbed. And a senior gang members have said, here's five times 500 pounds each, go and do it. And they go and do it because they think if I do this, then I'll get more money and I'll get more respect from the elders. Which is that if there's a society that's falling apart, and especially if uh, men are being ostracized and persecuted just for being male, and you don't have any calling in life, and then somebody says, hey, like here, here's a way out, um, here's somewhere that you can gain respect, and here's a community. I mean, <laughs> to, to use the UK army phrase, this is belonging. The, the tapping into that um, cult-like mentality there and just wanting to belong, that if there aren't those groups there, and again with the army, if, if they're not advertising to the straight white working class, which they historically have, and are instead trying to bring in millennials and snowflakes and selfie addicts and all that crap, then the, the people who are, are physical and like working with their hands, who would normally join the army, are now going to be more uh, militia types and they then join gangs and then you then these these problems snowball so if you don't give someone meaning then somebody else will and you can almost guarantee that they're not going to have your best interests at heart especially if, if they're already operating outside the law what, what makes you think they've got morals uh, last year most high police is one of the biggest increases in recorded knife offenses with a 35 percent rise according to official statistics uh, last week, figures showed that 22,041 knife weapon offences were recorded in England, Wales in the past year, the highest number since 2010. Uh, Mr. Walsh, who works in Anfield, said, I'm still godsmacked that they have this thing where, at that tender age, they put a bounty on other kids' heads. I hope to God it's not a trend that takes off. And they've likened it to gladiators, um, especially when people are going to, to watch it happen. As, I mean, as time goes on, we seem to be desensitised to human life, because historically, we were as well that human life didn't matter that much. I mean, the First World War is an example of that, just sending people in as cannon fodder. But then, since the, the decade, since I'd say the Second World War, hu humans have been more appreciated for being humans, and we have intrinsic value, but now it seems that we're being desensitised again with especially how, um, how much is shown in the media, that now it seems life isn't worth as much, and therefore it doesn't matter to these people if, if, if people die. So... I also hope to God it's not a trend and <laughs> that it takes off. And I hope that the, the army can help out here in terms of recruiting these people to allow them to do something that's more meaningful because that'll make the people happier as well. I mean, drugs are just suppressants or distractions to, I suppose, <laughs> quiet in the mind from your fears so that you don't have to face reality. And it, it might be fine in, in the short term, but it's weakness in the long term. But that's it for me. Have a good one and let me know your thoughts in the comments below.